In this example, we're going to do rectilinear motion with position, velocity, acceleration, and time. So if we're given the velocity of a mosquito, say the mosquito flies at velocity of 3 sine of 2t minus e to the negative 5t plus 7t plus 1 meters per second. Initial position is 0 meters. Find acceleration and position as functions of time. And also find acceleration, velocity, and position at t equals 5 seconds. All right, so we know um, that to go down the chain, you take derivative and to go up the chain, you take integral. So we have d in the middle. We need to go to s. We need to go to a to go up the chain. We take the integral dt. And to go down the chain, we take d dt. So we can just pull out our fundamental differentiable relationships, separate and integrate to get position, and then just plain take derivative to get acceleration. So um, we'll do acceleration first because that's easier. So let's do, we'll do acceleration red. So we know that a of t equals dv dt. Okay, so we take the derivative of v, then derivative of 3 sine of 2t, the 2 pops out and sine turns to cosine. We have 6 cosine of 2t. And then derivative of the exponential just makes that exponent come down. So negative 5 e to the negative 5t. And then derivative of 7t is just 7, and derivative of the 1, the constant, is 0. So this is a of t. Now, if we want to get a at 5, we'll say a of 5 seconds equals 6 cosine of 10 radians minus 5 e to the negative 25 plus 7. And plug that all into a calculator, we get 1.96 meters per second squared. So that's A at 5. Okay, um, now the velocity, we can find velocity of 5 by just plugging in 5 to all of that. So we'll say V of 5 equals 3 sine of 10 plus e to the negative 25 plus 7 times 5 plus 1. Put that all into a calculator, um, and we get 34.36 meters per second. So that's velocity at t equals 5. So now for position, we have to take the integral. So we know that v equals ds dt, so ds equals v dt, we separate it and now we integrate. So integral of v dt, we take the integral of 3 sine of 2t, so integral of sine is negative cosine, and then the 2 is also going to come out and be on the bottom. So we'll have negative 3 over 2 cosine of 2t. Okay, make sure you remember and write down if you forget derivatives of sine and cosine and which is positive and which is negative and how you use chain rule there to get that 2 out of the parentheses. Okay, and then continuing, we'll say minus 1 fifth e to the negative 5t plus 7 over 2t squared plus 1t and now plus constant. So the con this constant of integration, we'll be able to figure out what that is using the initial position s of 0 equals 0. So got to remember that plus constant. So now if we plug in s of 0 equals 0, say s of 0 equals 0 equals 
Um, cosine of zero is one, so we'll have negative three halves. E to the zero power is also one, so we'll have minus one fifth, and then plus t squared, which is just zero, one t, which is also zero, plus constant. Okay, so now the constant is gonna equal the three halves plus the one fifth, so if we add those to get a common denominator of 10, we'll have the three times five, which is 15 tenths, and then uh, that one fifth becomes two tenths. So 17 tenths equals C. Okay, so basically we can go over here and now cross out that C, and that is the 17 tenths, and I'll just put an arrow here because we solved for that. Okay, so now finally um, plugging in five to all of those, we'll have S of five, plug five into each one of those things, and then that gets 95.5 meters. So that mosquito flew pretty far in that five seconds. So, this is a lot of numbers. So let's think about what the graphs would look like. All right, so we know that we'll, we'll do velocity because that's what we were given, V and T. Okay, so the velocity has all these different components. So, we'll start with the one, which is easiest. We just say one here. The velocity's got this constant. Um, and then it's got this 7t, so that would start at 0 and go upwards with slope of 7. And then it's got the e to the negative 5t, which is a negative exponential, and so that starts at 1 and goes down in a decaying fashion. And then we will have this sinusoid. So sine of zero is zero. So that will start at zero. And then it goes um, up and down with plus or minus three. I'll say three there. And then we would have down here negative three. So that would look something like that. Okay, so the real velocity function is a combination of all of these. So I'll make that maybe this space color. And then if we add all of those together, so then we'll get a sinusoid, we'll get an increasing line, we'll get a decaying exponential, and we'll get a constant. So actually I should draw just draw a new axis. And it will probably never be negative, just based on the way that thing looks. Okay, so we know at the beginning, um, the value is going to be, we have a 1 plus another 1, which is a 2. So we'll just say here that's 2. So it starts there, and it is a squiggle up and down that starts at 2. Okay, so this is not to scale. Squiggle up and down starts at two. Now, when t equals infinity, um, then it is, the whole function is basically linear with a squiggle because the exponential has gone to zero and then the constant is just flat. So we have a linear squiggle. So something like that. And then in between, they sort of, they end up having to get together. So we'll just draw something like that. So that is the shape of this function.